Are you searching for the perfect place to retire? Great news, I've got a suggestion for you that you may not have considered. In fact, I have 10 suggestions for you, all in the great state of Texas. I am Jessica Canella, co-founder and president of Oak Harvest Financial Group, and today we're going to discuss the top 10 destinations for retirement in Texas. Deciding where you want to retire is motivational and Frankly, it's a major priority when it comes to your retirement planning. How can you even plan to retire if you have no idea where you wanna do so? Let's cut to the chase and do some planning. Better yet, let's do a little dreaming. Now you're probably gonna call me biased, especially given that our firm is based in the great state of Texas, right here in Houston. But I believe that Texas is an ideal place to retire and definitely a state that you should consider spending your golden years in. Aside from the warm weather, mild winter temperatures, and a large collection of diverse places and things to do, Texas is very retiree friendly. It has many great cities offering slightly lower costs of living and affordable housing market. It compares well against any region in the country. And there are a couple of tax advantages and fun facts that you may not know about Texas. For example, did you know that there's no individual income tax in the great state of Texas? Yeehaw! God bless Texas. Another fun fact is that Texas has one of the strongest economies in the world. We have our own army and we're ranked the ninth largest economy worldwide. Let's discuss some ideas where you might wanna put the roots down in retirement in Texas. To help you with that, I've compiled a list of 10 best places for you to consider spending your retirement year years in the uniquely wonderful and affordable state of Texas. Here are some key factors that we've considered as this analysis was compiled. Crime rates, housing prices, proximity to other big cities. We've got a lot of country areas here in Texas. Entertainment and very important for your golden years, medical accessibility. There are a few other important things to consider as well, rising interest rates, a housing market that is weakening, historically high inflation, and a pending recession, maybe? Those issues should definitely give you pause. And frankly, in today's environment, affordability should be just as much of an important factor as the quality of life and the available amenities in terms of where you end up retiring. So without further ado, let's get to that list. The first on the list is Dallas. Not my personal favorite being that I grew up in Philadelphia and I think that their football team is really crappy. Dallas was nicknamed the Big D back in the 30s by the local newspaper, the Dallas Morning News. The city was founded in 1841. We have a joke here in Houston that the best thing that came out of Dallas was 45, which is the road that gets you to Houston. And without any more picking on Dallas, I'll give you some fun facts about why we think for you, this might be a good place to retire. So back to that nickname, the Big D. It's appropriate given that Dallas has a population of nearly 1.3 million. It is the ninth largest city in the country and the third largest city in, in Texas. According to Visit Dallas, the city attracts visitors from all around the world because it's ultra modern and sophisticated. No big surprise that Dallas is the number one destination in Texas. It is well regarded for its cultural center with an array of museums, a robust arts community, and there are endless options when it comes to restaurants, sports team, leisure activities, entertainment, and choices. Dallas is blessed with an abundance of easily accessible world-class healthcare options and facilities. So if you prefer big city living and a faster pace, Dallas is probably the best bet for a retirement destination in Texas. Here are some key livability statistics. Cost of living for retirees in Dallas is about 2% slightly above the national average cost of living. The crime rate in Dallas is 5% safer than most other US cities. And the average housing price is just over $300,000. Here's another fun fact about Texas. Not so fun if you like road tripping. You can drive 12 hours across the state of Texas from Houston to next up on our list, El Paso, and 12 hours later still be in the same state of Texas. Let's chat a little bit about El Paso. Clear across the state from Houston, known as the Sun City, given it's blessed with more than 300 days per year of sunshine. 
It's the 22nd largest city in the U.S. and the sixth largest city in Texas, and it was founded in 1873. Geographically speaking, El Paso is situated in the far western part of the state, close to where Texas, New Mexico, and Chihuahua, Mexico intersect. It's bordered by the Rio Grande River and the Franklin Mountains. Affordability is one of the most attractive features about El Paso. It remains one of the most cost-effective places to retire with a reasonable cost of living and housing prices that are among the lowest in the U.S. On the cultural side, Side. It offers a wide variety of events, festivals, encouraging residents to take advantage of the abundance of sunshine, Mexican influence, and outdoor activities. Where there's usually an array of food fair found in most areas, this particular city in Texas is renowned for its, you guessed it, Tex-Mex cuisine. The city also offers access to high quality healthcare options that are rapidly expanding. Here's some key statistics about livability in El Paso. 10% below the national average of cost of living. The crime rate is safer than 38% of US cities, and the average housing price, $200,000. Third up on our list is the great city of McAllen, Texas, also a border town. Uh, my partner, Edward, is from McAllen, and so I go to that area quite frequently. One of my favorite parts of McAllen is its proximity to South Padre Island, a hot spring break destination, or if you're like me, a lazy little beach town when it's not spring break. McAllen, Texas is known as the City of Palms. McAllen was settled in 1909 and it's the 22nd largest city in Texas with a population of approximately 144,000 residents. It's situated in the southernmost part of the state, the Rio Grande Valley, on the border of the US and Mexico. And because of its location, it is a hub for international trade. This is another Texas city that is considered one of the most affordable places to retire in. It accommodates retirees with even modest incomes. It's very culturally diverse. McAllen has a fair offering of performing and cultural arts for a population of its size, hosting an array of events and festivals each year. With regard to healthcare, given its growth due largely to NAFTA trade, there are plenty of quality healthcare options available. Couple of key livability statistics. The cost of living for retirees is a whopping 24% below the national average. The crime rate is safer than 27% of US cities, and the average housing price is 204,000. Fun fact about McAllen, Texas, is that it's about 20 minutes away from the border of Mexico, the, and the city is called Progreso in Mexico. You can walk across a bridge, of course you'll need your passport, and you are in Mexico. In fact, it's where I bought a lot of our Fiesta-themed baby shower decorations. Very authentic, came right from Mexico, because again, my partner's family lives in McAllen, Texas, and we've got access to Mexico. Fourth up on the list, we have Richmond, Texas, which is in my backyard of Houston, Texas. In Incorporated in 1837, the city of Richmond has a population of just 12,600 residents and sits roughly 15 miles southwest of Houston. While considered a part of Houston, it is a small suburban community that offers lots of amenities for retirees, including parks, libraries, trails, and more and it's budget friendly on a comparative basis to other cities in Texas. That makes it a big attraction for those seeking to retire there. Given its close proximity to Houston, there's plenty of cultural and performing arts, food, events, festivals, and activity options available. It's about a 30 minute drive to Houston. That makes it very accessible healthcare wise. Houston is a hub for hospitals and medical practices in the United States. Key livability statistics about Richmond, Texas. 14% lower than the national average on cost of living. The crime rate is safer than 26% of other US cities and the average housing price, 400,000. Fifth up on the list is Granbury, Texas. Granbury sits about 33 miles south of Fort Worth and about an hour from Dallas. It was incorporated in 1866 and currently has a population of just 10,300. Retirees make up more than 30% of Granbury's population. They gravitate towards Granbury due to its historic charm and the authentic Texas appearance. The city boasts a wide array of restaurants and activities. Granbury Lake sits right in the middle of the town and the city beach offers all kinds of water activities for the young and the old. The city has more than 40 historic landmarks including Granbury Square, Granbury Opera House, and the iconic Hood County Courthouse. It has a major hospital and other healthcare facilities but its fairly close proximity to Dallas makes healthcare very accessible. Let's talk about the cost of living for retirees in Granbury, Texas. It's an average of 4.9 higher than the national average. 
I guess you pay a price for that little historic town charm. Crime rate is safer than 5% of US cities, and the average housing, housing price is just under 400,000. Sixth on the list is Kerrville, Texas. I love Kerrville. It's in what we call hill country here in Texas. It's a small city of just 23,000 citizens that lo that's located about 60 miles southwest of San Antonio, and it was established in 1856. The city is nestled in the Texas hill country region, otherwise known as Texas wine country region. If you've been to Napa Valley, go ahead and Reframe your expectations. Um, this wine country is still picturesque, but it is not quite as beautiful, in my humble opinion, as the California area of Napa. But we do have plenty of Californians who are exploring the availability to grow grapes on the lands of Texas. One interesting feature of the hill country and specific to Kerrville is the Guadalupe River runs right through it. There's plenty of parks, wildlife areas available along that river, including the Kerrville Shriner Park, Flat Rock Park, and Louise Hayes Park. Additionally, the city offers plenty of cultural and performing arts attractions and lots of food and entertainment options. And it's home to the annual Texas State Arts and Crafts Fair. And the people drive very slow in Kerrville. Fun fact. So it's definitely retirement friendly. With a cost of living that's comfortably below most of the US and the crime rate well below the national average, the Lone Star Index recently named Kerrville the best small town in Texas for seniors looking to retire. The city has its own healthcare facilities and like most on our list, it's situated within reasonably close proximity to a major city, San Antonio, offering a well-recognized and robust healthcare and infrastructure system. Here's some more on those livability statistics. The cost of living in Kerrville is 12% lower than the national average, and the crime rate safer than almost half of other US cities, 47% safer than other US cities. The average house price is $337,000. Lucky number seven on our list is Johnson City, Texas. Johnson City is another Texas hill country town on our list. Founded in 1879, the city hosts a population of nearly 1800. It's the smallest city on our list today, and it's located approximately 45 miles west of Austin and 65 miles north of San Antonio. Among its claims to fame, it is the home to the 36th president, Lyndon B. Johnson. Otherwise, the city is most famous for its wineries, an eclectic array of restaurants, galleries, festivals, and parks. And given the population, it's certainly appealing to retirees who are seeking a taste of small town living, in a quiet atmosphere. Now it does have a higher cost of living respectively than others on our list, but given the fact that you're living among some of the best Texas Hill Country wineries, not a bad trade-off. You're certainly not breaking the bank when compared to other wine country areas in other parts of the country. Napa and Sonoma Valley, I'm looking at you. And with its low crime rate, proximity to health and recreational facilities is nearby in Austin. This is the perfect place for retirees seeking a less stressful, slower paced lifestyle while still enjoying some of life's finer pleasures. Cheers. Cost of living for retirees in Johnson City is 6.5% higher than the national average. This city, with its population of 1,800, is safer than 56% of US cities, and the average cost of a home there is $500,000. Eighth up on our list, Fredericksburg. Fredericksburg is so special, especially if you're going there to visit around the holidays. Um, it is just so cute. It has the warm charm of a Texas city, um, just beautiful, also located in hill country. The population is around 11,000 and it's located just 75, 75 miles west of Austin, again, in that Texas hill country winery region. The city is considered the epic center of the wine region with more than 50 wineries, vineyards, and tasting rooms directly in that area. Makes for a great girls weekend, might I add. As would be expected in such an area, it hosts a wide assortment of restaurants, galleries, studios, as well as cultural and performance arts and activities and events. German influence in Fredericksburg, Texas. Um, that is, when we talk about culture in Fredericksburg, Texas, they had a big, German influence. So great German food. And um, one of my favorite areas there is a German brewery that also serves wine. <laughs> Something for everyone. One of the most renowned events in Fredericksburg is the Food and Wine Festival that takes place each October. It's also home to the National Museum of the Pacific War. 
considered among the top five history museums in the country. Given its location and amenities, it attracts a lot of retirees. More than 31% of the population are seniors, and they're willing to pay more than other cities to enjoy everything we just mentioned. There are plenty of healthcare options locally and nearby in Austin. Cost of living is 1.9% higher than the national average. The crime rate, it's safer than 54% of other US cities, and the average housing price, it's on the rise, and it's a little over 500,000, coming in at 514,000 for a home in Fredericksburg. Ninth up on our list is the city of Burnett, Texas. This city is another town on our list that is nestled in the Texas Hill Country region. We're noticing a theme here. Um, it has a population of roughly 6,500 residents and approximately 18% of those residents are age 65 and older. It was founded in 1852 and originally named Hamilton, and it is located 45 miles northwest of Austin. Burnett is part of the Texas Wine Trail region and like others previously mentioned, offers great dining, lodging, shopping, wine tours, and much more. There's plenty more for residents to enjoy in terms of cultural arts and activities, including the Longhorn Cavern and State Park, the Highland Lakes Air Museum, and the Vanishing Texas River Cruise. That one sounds a little scary. I've not done that myself. Check that one out. <laughs> like other locations on our list, there are plenty of local health facilities with its close proximity to Austin. Let's talk about some of the key livability statistics for Burdett, Texas. Cost of living is 10.5% lower than the national average. And this city is 42% safer than other US cities. And the average house price, still somewhat affordable, coming in at 334,000. Nicknamed Saltwater Heaven and the Harbor City, 10th on our list is Aransas Pass. Aransas Pass is located on the Texas Gulf Coast. Oh, something different than the hill country. Near Redfish Bay, just 18 miles northeast of Corpus Christi, and the population is just over 8,000. Approximately 19% of which are retirement age. It was originally a fishing village that was founded in 1909 as part of the Great Land Lottery promotion. Today, it is the home port of more than 300 large shrimp trawlers. The city is definitely ideal for retirees seeking a coastal lifestyle, given its warm weather and proximity to beaches. There's plenty of bars and restaurants and lots of outdoor activities, including water sports, of course, fishing, shrimping, birding, kayaking, and hunting. And amenities include trails, golf courses, and of course, local parks. And as far as the local healthcare facilities, there are plenty of options nearby in Corpus Christi. The cost of living for retirees in our 10th and final city for retirement in Texas is 15.7% lower than the national average. The crime rate is safer than 4% of US cities and the average housing price just under 200,000 at 193,000. And there you have it, the top 10 places to live in Texas. No doubt there's a lot to consider in terms of retiring to any of these great cities or anywhere else for that matter. Wherever that might be, retirement should be on your terms and where you wanna do so. And we wanna understand that retirement is a long-term planning and that it's important to have that conversation with your advisor, regardless of where you're wanting to live so that your plan can come to fruition. Here at Oak Harvest Financial Group, our financial advisors and retirement planners do more than just manage your investments. We build holistic retirement plans that aim to reduce risk, increase your income, provide guaranteed income, and help you pay less tax. And we will work with you in making big decisions like where you wanna retire and how much house can you afford. If you are ready to take the next step and talk to a team of retirement planners to put your interests first, schedule a call with our team today.